Hello everyone, Abby here at Purple Cottage Crafts and I am filming in my makeshift crafting space um, out here in our RV bay. So I had the big door open so if you hear any outside noises, cars, things like that, I apologize in advance. Um, also I'm sitting on a very old stool that likes to creak and squeak. So if you hear that like, like that, that is my stool. So anyways, I wanted to share with you um, the vintage linens that I found at the estate sale I went to yesterday. I've already filmed all the other items. I'm not sure if this is going to go first or the other one, but I wanted to do these separate because I've got a whole box full. So I kind of laid out some of the larger pieces right here and I'm going to go through each one with you and kind of, kind of um, talk my way through them. Let me get this box over here. Okay, sorry for that. I thought it was more prepared than I was. So first up is this little sweet, sweet little baby's uh, like, um, you know, slip or underdressing. There are some stains on here and that's okay. It doesn't bother me. Um, the sun is going to be kind of coming in and out of the cloud. So again, I apologize. I can't control that part of it. Has some really pretty lace on the bottom. I'm going to, I have a couple of different ways, um, ideas to get the stain out on here. So I'm going to give those a shot. My mom has a couple of recipes that have always worked in the past. So I'm going to try that and get that out. If not, I can always put something over here like, you know, um, a larger flower or something like that. Because I'm not going to cut this up. This is going to be displayed in my craft room. Because I think this is just absolutely adorable little sleeves right there little and um this is just super super cute so i have that and then to go with um staying on the baby kind of clothing this one is a little bit bigger this one is absolutely beautiful now everything you're going to see i either paid uh 25 cents or 50 cents a couple things were like a buck or two but most everything was a quarter or 50 cents a screaming screaming deal so here's this really really pretty um dress here it's got some um oh there we go some really pretty work on there in the center there. Just really sweet. I think embroidery, is that, that what that is? <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. I'm working on like half a brain today. I'm just got a lot of stuff going on. Um, so this is, this one here, really, really sweet. Again, there's some stains on here. It's not gonna bother me. Okay, this was a dollar. This is one of the dollar items the dresses were. She had other ones too that were like five dollars. They were, you know, more intricate and stuff, but um, I just kind of wanted to stick with the 50 cents and dollar price range for most everything and up to a dollar. So anyway, so this is the back side of it. So I'm gonna try to get the stains out of this one as well. It's got that really pretty eyelet lace on the bottom. And then, yeah, and there's the shoulders. So I'm not sure if this is like an actual dress and like the slip would go underneath it or something, I'm not sure. This almost looks like cigarette burns, I think, and that's unfortunate, but I'll still work around and try to get the stains off. And if I can't get these out, I'm gonna reach out to all of you out there because I'm sure um, all you ladies and gents are watching this video maybe have like some um, tips and tricks on how to get stains out. So you, you can leave in the comment section now if you want to, or you know, you can wait for me to come back with my my mom's I you know little tricks don't work so here is a really sweet little like house coat for this baby I think it's so cute and this is just so adorable you guys this also is not going to be cut up or anything like that this is going to stay just like it is I think it's really um a pretty display piece um you know if I decide to use it down the road it'll be something for something very very special because I don't like to cut things like this up so I'm gonna try to keep that. And this was 50 cents for this little house coat. And it's nice and thick. You can see the really pretty flowers. Sorry, the sun's behind um, the cloud, so it's not super bright right now, or that, the proper lighting, but this really, really sweet. And then there is the label inside, the sweet little ribbon closure, and then here's the back side. So I was really, really happy with these finds. I was tempted to go back again today to see if they had more, because she just, I mean, there must have been hundreds of this kind of stuff, linens and hankies and things like that. So here is a, um, like, you know, table. You know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so here's this one, really pretty lace on the bottom. And I'll hold it up so you can see the detail on there. Really nice. And there's my stool just to squeak in. So this is the same as the first one I just showed you. Some things were um, doubles of each other. Some were sets and... Um, you know, so there might be some pieces I did, didn't get um, of all of it because, like I said, everything will just pile on two tables. So this is a really pretty towel right here, like a tea towel. There's that really pretty blue detail on the bottom. These are all going to get washed, too, before I put them in. Well, I can't display them yet because they're going to go in my new pie safe that I have to alter. And that once I get my room 
done I can unpack that stuff so it'll be a little ways down the road before I can do that but I at least want to get them laundered and kind of ready to go oops upside down Abby so here's a nice like little table runner here really really cool shape so really nice and I'll show you some of the work up close I wish I could do handiwork like this embroidery or just so so beautiful so there's that one this one's really pretty this is a um uh, I thought it was a placemat at first the way it was folded, but this is for a table as well. So this is the length of it. It starts here and goes all the way over to here. And I'll fold it in half so you can see the design, which is the same on either end. So just really, really pretty. You know, I just really appreciate things like this because of all the time and work and craft and scale that went into making something like this. So really like to keep those things in their original state as much as possible for that reason. This one here has quite a bit of staining on it. I think it's really pretty. I love the fact that it's a circle. It's circular. Oops, upside down again, Abby. And I think this is gorgeous. So I'm going to try again, like I said, a couple of the different um, suggestions for my mom um, to get out stains. This is definitely going to be displayed in my craft room. I'm not sure on what furniture piece yet, but I love this and I think it's really, really pretty. So definitely going to be using that for some decor. I like to use the vintage things for, not only for decor and storage in my craft room, but also my projects, but I really enjoy looking at these items when I'm crafting, it inspires me, so. And here's another longer, like a, you know, a sofa table or a coffee table type of runner. Let me show you the bottom side here. Look at those beautiful flowers. So pretty, so pretty. Okay, and here are some placemats. I thought the, there were only uh, there was uh, two and these were two dollars for this whole bundle and I only found two at the time and the lady said oh no this is a four piece so she found the other two but this one was also in my box and so I you know was going to pay for it additional and she's like no 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 this is a set just go and take it so I am so thrilled about these you guys these are like little quilts <laughs> they feel really thick like a quilt but they're like you know placemat table mats but this is so shabby chic i love it there's some pops of lavender in there um there's some pinks and some blues and then the soft yellow just really really pretty and here's the back side see so they're definitely like irre you know reversible if you wanted to do this side sorry it's my neighbors next door they're doing something i apologize if you hear any uh, noise so there's the bottom side really pretty so these would be great for um you know fl just really basically this is like part of the first thing that would come to anybody's mind, fold in half and it could be like a, a nice journal cover. You could cut it in half and do the same thing, all kinds of projects. But I'm, I don't, I don't just make a snap decision on when I go to cut like vintage things apart because I want to be very thoughtful, um, respectful of the item and all the work that went into it. So I do take my time before I start just cutting things open. So neighbors just got home with their kids from school. So I'm sorry about that. I'm gonna tell you a story about that here in just a second. Here's another, um, you know, uh, like a napkin or I'm trying to find right side up. Okay, it's right here. I love how this is all curled like this. Just so cool. And here's the end for that one. So there's that. And then here is another um, larger like tablecloth. It's folded in half, but it goes from here all the way to here. And I'll open it up so we can see the detail together. So a lot of these things, I was just grabbing them and shoving them in this box I had started. I mean, there's only one other lady looking at the linens when I was there. Um, but, you know, more people trickled in, of course. But I went through and grabbed everything. And what I do is I toss things in my box. Same thing I do, like, Tuesday morning, you know, the craft stores and something's on clearance. Because I like to put it in my car and think about it while I'm shopping. And if I don't want those items, I go back and put them where I found them. But that's kind of the same process here, but I ended up keeping everything I tossed in here. I mean, there is a ton of stuff that I didn't grab and there was a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. So, but you know, I don't want to be too hoggy and let other people have, you know, take advantage of those items too. So, and this is another like, you know, sofa table runner. You can see the length of this one. This one has a Goodwill tag on it, so his wife liked to go to Goodwill. Um, she paid $2.99 for this, and I only paid $0.50. Cents. So I'll show you the end um, the end here, so you can see the really pretty detail work. Sorry, you guys. I 
<laughs> I can't. I don't know what to do about it. And I got my phone going off. She's Kaylee, Kaylee's not here for a couple days, so I leave my phone on when I'm filming in case she needs anything. So a lot of distraction, you guys. I apologize. All right. So here's this beautiful piece. That's this is probably the largest item that I purchased. It's really thick. Um, this is again folded. It's doubled, but you can see the length from here to here, just you know, folded in half. So. This is one of those items I wasn't sure if I was going to get it or not, but I really, and this is very heavy, very, very heavy. And I think I paid a dollar for this, which I felt was an extremely reasonable price point. I mean, look at all of this lace work that's on here. It is just beautiful. The little half doilies and the dangles. I mean, this, I could really make this project go far because, you know, I have doubles because it's folded in half. So I'm going to pause for a second just to kind of see if anything's going to calm down because I feel like every noise is probably drowning me out and I feel bad about that. I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so the noise has kept going going. So what I did is I closed our big RV bay door here and I opened up the back um, kind of like garage door over that way and I turned the lights on and I'm hoping this is going to be okay. I can see some shadows of my hands but I really want to get this film so I can get these items washed. You might hear a little bit click, 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 click. That's Bella. She's out here with me. Hi, oh, Peel. What you doing? What's Mama doing, huh? Okay, so back to the, the items here. So they ha she, they ha had a ton of purses um, earlier in the, early the day, and there were um, probably six or so left that I could find. They were buried underneath all the mountain of linens. So the lady was saying, oh, there's purses in here if you're interested in that too. And I was like, oh, because I hadn't got down to the bottom of the pile yet. So she reached in there and grabbed these two out, and I fell in love with these. So there's, an, there's another one similar to this one, but it was more like, um, like, a, like a burnt, brown kind of color and I didn't I didn't want I it, these are the two I like the best like I said there were other ladies around too I didn't want to scoop up all the purses you know we kind of I, we were talking back for the different ladies that were shopping as well so I didn't want to be you know um a pig and, and take all of them but I, I do love these two that I found here well she found them for me but here's the chain and this is the inside I'm going to do some I'm going to do some uh, googling and find out um, how old this handbag is but it, this is just beautiful you guys look at that really pretty green in there it's got the satin and you know I checked the pockets which I'm sure they did too before they sold them but you always hear these stories where people like go get something from Goodwill and there's like a hundred bucks in the pocket or whatever so I thought I'd check this to be sure <laughs> it, it is empty so this had a chain, uh, chain at some point and I might just go ahead and fashion my own to, um, this is just going to be displayed. These are not going to be cut up or anything. These are, um, the purses are definitely just for decor in my craft room. So I think it's really pretty. And here's the inside of that one. There's a little satin pocket there. And then here is the label. Um, ah! It said it was made in Hong Kong. I can't get the label to show, um, the full label, but that's the label inside there. So I wanted to share those before I got too sidetracked with that. Bella! Sorry, I had to call her back in here. All right, so let's go ahead and get to the pile. So I've kind of sorted out, you know, some additional, you know, napkins and table runners, things like that, and then larger hankies and then some smaller ones, and then just some miscellaneous items here. So I'll go through these first. So all of these, this was like a quarter for this, and the other pieces I got, like there were multiples. So this stuff was like, everything you see like this, it was all quarter for the whole thing. So really, really good deal. I was kind of like, I think maybe they meant to do a quarter for each piece. But when I talked to her, she says, no, let's do it a quarter because that's a, one of them was priced. So but there's this really beautiful piece of um, crochet trim there, lacy trim. Um, oh, not this piece. What was the other piece I had? Was that it? I thought there was another one that went, looked like this. Hmm. Maybe I didn't grab it because I definitely paid separate for this. I would not do 50 cent a quarter for that piece I just showed you and this big piece here. I, I feel like that would be almost new. Um, stealing and I would and I wouldn't do that but I um, I think I paid a um, dollar for this one I believe but I must have left the other one on the table that's okay I've got plenty as you can see so there's this really long beautiful piece there and this is really pretty too this is a color off of a collar I always say color and color is weird I guess people have told me but anyway um, Oh, no, somebody's whistling. So this is a color off of a blouse, a dress, or what have you. It looks pretty small, so I'm assuming maybe off a child or a very petite woman. It has to be a little baby. Look at, look at how tiny that is. And it's intact. They didn't cut this 
in half. So it's got to be for a little baby something, but really, really pretty. And here's another um, longer, like, color piece. You can see the length of that one. And I'll show you some of the detail up close. Really, really pretty. And then this is another, um, like, table, um, you know, like, a, for a tablecloth. I don't know what that is. I think it's somebody's alarm. If it does it again, I'll stop because I'm sure it's very annoying. I feel really, I just, please forgive me for this being so um, patchy and stuff. I just, just trying to get this done and share it with you um, and also tr try to not have too many exterior noises that are going to irritate anybody. So this was again from Goodwill. She paid $1.99. I paid a quarter for this. So this one is so beautiful, you guys. Oh, it's so, Bella, watch out. She just tripped on the frames <laughs> that I have laid out on the floor. This is so pretty. I wish I had my regular setup so you could see this a little bit better, but this really beautiful, delicate lace, and then this soft kind of blue in the center. This is just beautiful. So very soft and very delicate and just really, really pretty. I mean, look at that. Just beautiful. So, And these are the kind of items, like I said, I don't just instantly cut up and start using projects. I try to be very thoughtful about things like this before I use my projects or pass them on in happy mail, um, swaps, things like that, or, you know, just display, display in my craft room. So this is really pretty too. There's that little bit. And then we have this one. This is really soft and pretty. I love this. I, I wish I had more of this, um, like to display in some of my card catalogs that I have. And it, oh, no, don't do that. Here's that little flower on the end. Just really, really pretty. Then we have another circular, you know, um, for a table or doily, whatever you want to call it. And let me try to hold it up so you can see the design work on that. I'm trying to hurry, you guys. I feel like I'm taking so long with this, but I'm trying to um, show each piece if I can up close up. Up close and personal. There's another little circular doily. This, you guys, I have some purple hankies in here, okay? So obviously I'm over the moon because of that. I think my favorite piece out of this whole thing I bought is this right here, off, off of this section anyway. Look at this sweet, um, like, stitching and needlepoint on this little, it's like a little book. And then she had something clipped inside here. Obviously, the first thing that goes to mind is a little journal or a little book cover. This is so sweet. So I'm definitely going to be using this um, as a cover for some type of journal or whatever that I will be putting up for sale. So this will not be cut apart, sprayed, altered. No, it, the only thing that's going to happen with this is I will launder it carefully and you know, try to get as many of the stains out as I possibly can. Um, and then... <laughs> This is just so sweet, so, so cool. So I don't know if there were eyeglasses that were in here or I'm not sure, but I will incorporate this chain in that project as well so it kind of stays together. Isn't that just beautiful? Oh, so, so pretty. All right, so here's another little, um, like, you know, table piece, whatever you want to call it. And this one must have been fit in good, uh, Goodwill too. There's a price, our little plastic clippy on it. But here's that really pretty pink. And here's another little circle doily. I don't think this is as old as, as the others, but um, there's that one. But it doesn't matter. I like working with old, authentically old and, you know, new stuff too. So I'm not picky as long as it's pretty and it's the stuff I like to work with. So here is another table runner. I tried to separate all these um, for the first video, or first part of the video. This was a dollar, as you can see by the little sticker here, which I thought was reasonably priced. She had a couple really pretty quilts. Um, that I wanted to put my hands on, but I was like, ah, oh. so I don't know. It's getting, it's, it's almost four o'clock my time, a little bit after, so I'm sure they're probably closed or done, but I'll look and see if they're open tomorrow, and maybe I'll buzz over there and take a peek, but really, really pretty. And then we have this one here. Again, I don't think this is old, per se. This feels like the stuff you can buy at Walmart and Dollar Tree, um, but I could be mistaken, but this is what it feels like to me, but I definitely will still use this. Look at that really pretty heart. This would be great for, um, you know, like a romantical type of book or project or for wedding, something like that bridal. Really pretty. And then here we have um, another long runner. First I thought this was a placemat, but <laughs> this is, that's a pretty big place setting <laughs> if you're going to have a placemat. But I guess it could work and put the plate in your silverware in your cup. That would look pretty too. So happy to have this piece. Fine. I think I paid a dollar or 50 cents for this one. I can't remember. 
let me fold it up here so you can see the beautiful detailing on the edge there. Okay, and then this one here is another really pretty one. This is, um, this looks like it would be a fabric napkin, I'm guessing. I don't, I don't know. This is, has a plastic tag from probably Goodwill, I'm assuming as well. Because if you did it this way, let's see. Maybe a little bit more. You guys are probably like, uh, Duh, Abby, that's a plastic, or plastic, a fabric napkin or something else. I don't know. I'm just kind of playing around and trying to see what it would be for, but here's the bottom. Just really, really pretty. But it can be whatever I want it to be used for, so that's the fun part. And then here, this one's really cute. It's got this the scallopy edge. It's just like so soft and like light, fluttery, and really feminine, so I think that's really pretty. Yeah, this is the right side up. So, love that scallopy. Bella, come here. And here's the decor, or the design on the bottom. Or the outer edge, I should say. And then, we're almost getting to the hankies. We're almost there. And here's like another, you know, table. Um, you know, I can't think what I want to call these, you guys. I'm sorry. It's, do you, I, I'm pretty sure that uh, most of you, or maybe not, I like to think that when you're filming and you have like a total brain fart, but as soon as the camera goes off, I instantly remember what it's called. That's what I'm doing today. So here is this. <laughs> let's, let's leave it at this. And then I'll show you the work on the bottom edge or outer edge. Really, really cool. Okay, and then here we have another circular like type doily. So this one's got some beautiful lace on the outside edge. I'll hold this up so you can see that. Really, really pretty. Okay, and this is a larger piece. This one has some um, quite a bit of staining on it. I'm, I'm trying. I think this was originally like either white or like maybe an ivory or something, just based off of how it looks to me in real life. I don't know if they're. You see what I mean? How it's like lighter here. Let me pull this up a little bit. It's like kind of lighter in some spots. I don't know if this was the original color and like coffee stained it or. I don't know what stained it, or if it was originally maybe a darker and these like lighter bleach spots. I, I have no idea. I guess it really doesn't matter, but um, I think this is really cool too. So I, I've already got a couple ideas for a project, but like I, I already said, um, I don't start cutting things apart until I decide for sure. Look at that beautiful purple. I just now noticed the purple flowers down there. Just really, really beautiful work. Okay, and then last couple things before I get to the hankies. Um, this here, or these, let's see. Oh, the, oh, I see. These are like, um, it's a set. But I only found three, or is there another one hidden in here? Yeah, just three, but it's a set. Um, and it's uh, Simply Shabby Chic is the brand. Made in India, so I don't think this is like vintage, but it's very pretty, very, very pretty. I'm not really like a uh, pink decor because I'm such a purple fanatic, but this is very, very pretty though. So there's three of these. I'm not sure if these are just like, you know, um, thing for your table or um, maybe you use them for dinner napkins or I don't know, or like as a larger hanky or something, but um, very, very pretty nonetheless. And so there was a set of three of those. Let me show you this up close so you can see it. It's just a really, really pretty delicate pink. I think this is really cute. All right, now we're on to the hankies, I think. There might be a couple more round things in here. We'll see. Yep, I got a little, yep, this one over here. I got two more, it looks like. Like a little, you know, table runner type of thing. Oh, I'm not even in frame, you guys, I'm so sorry. So, I'm, I'm trying to improve on my temporary filming setup area. Um, I'm probably gonna do some crafts I have to do out in my, in the garage or outside because I'm doing, you know, painting. But smaller things, I'm going to work on uh, bringing those into the house so I have, you know, good lighting when it gets to be dark and stuff and uh, working on projects because I just, I can't wait um, without getting some projects done because I have some design team commitments I need to do. I have a couple swaps I'm a part of and I have some commission work and then some items I want. Just lots and lots of things coming up. And so, um, like I had said before, isn't that really pretty? Um, there are a couple things at the house that we want to kind of get done before winter gets here, like the, where it's raining a lot. So um, we have one one house um, remodel project that's got pushed up above my craft room. And I am totally fine with that because, you know, it's 
my house so I'm totally cool with that but I really kind of want to start getting in and getting some crafting done because I am missing it so bad you guys I've been living vicariously through all of you on your um your videos and your live craft shows and things so I'm just really wanting to get back in the game so you'll have to forgive me for having you know noisy background sometimes and maybe some not so good lighting and interruptions and stuff but I'm gonna be get back into the swing of things isn't this just the most beautiful delicate soft pink you've ever seen this is so pretty it's like this really pretty kind of like a champagne color at least in real life it is. It's just absolutely beautiful. So all of the hankies, all the hankies, no matter what size they wore, they were all 25 cents a piece. So, and here's this one. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. So I have to keep holding these up in the air so you can see the detail closer. Okay, so here's this one. It's got this really, it's so hard you guys, cause I have to, I'm kind of straddling my, um, my totes here so I can um, show you these items up close. So I'm trying to make sure I'm staying in frame. So there's that one. Really pretty detail there. Let's toss it over to the side for now. Here's just the plain kind of white one with some lace on the edging. There. This one is so sweet. I was so happy to find some purple ones. Matter of fact, the lady that was kind of digging in the same area as me, she, um, I found one. I think this is the first one I saw, and I was like, Hey, there's purple. And she'll go, oh, you love purple? And I said, yeah. And so she was kind of tossing the purple ones that she found towards me. I just thought it was very, very sweet um, to do. Me, me just a fellow lover of vintage linens and hankies. So it was kind of cool. So this is a really beautiful purple one. I love how it's just like so thin and delicate. So, And I have a really um, fun idea of how I'm going to be um, displaying these types of things in my room. Even the hanky keys that I plan on using in projects or putting in racks or whatever. Um, but I will get to that project and share that with you when I get to working on that. So very excited about it. So here's another really pretty, beautif uh, pretty beautiful purple one. I'm trying to spit this out here. Isn't that just the sweetest thing? These little purple flowers. It's just, oh, I just, it makes me so happy when I look at stuff like this. It's just so beautiful. Okay, and then here we have another one with kind of like the um, multicolored uh, crochet work on the uh, around the edges. This one here is a pretty plain one. It's got, it's got not plain, it's just say like basic. I think I shared one of these already, I'm not sure, but I have, some of these have doubles, like they're set or whatever, so they're kind of mixed up. And, you know, some pieces like the, like the pink pieces here I showed you, they probably got snatched up by somebody before me and they didn't realize it was a set because they had different ladies um, helping the, um, the guy with his sale. So, but ah, I'm trying to get this one open in case you're watching this one first before you watch the actual, um, you know, furniture and frames that I found the gentleman who, um, his, his late wife, um, I think about, about a year ago or a little bit over a year ago, she unfortunately was hit, um, by a vehicle and she passed away. And so he had not been able to part with any of her belongings or anything because he was still grieving and he's still grieving, of course, but he's able to, with the help of their friends to kind of start, start, you know, like removing things from the home these excess things like this that his wife had collected. So everything, um, every penny that is made from that estate sale, it's going to a charity that he and his wife were um, a part of. And it's, uh, I can't remember the exact name, but it's a children's mission type of, um, um, uh, not fundraiser, you know what I'm trying to say, charity type of thing. So every penny went to that. He is not collecting money on any of this. and. So when Steve and I left, because I went there first and I called Steve, isn't that just beautiful, you guys, to come, because when I found my pie safe, I needed him to bring the truck, and he found some things as well, and we gave, um, you know, extra mon money off of the top of what we owed, because we just thought that was just a really sweet thing to do, and, he, you know, we felt, I felt so bad for the, for the gentleman, you know, just that he, you could tell he was a still grieving his wife, he was kind of like mixed feelings, I think, for him, because when he saw other people like me, other ladies like me, who just like fell in love with this stuff and, and cherished it, knowing that we're going to keep it and use it or, you know, things and just kind of, um, you know, love it like his wife did. He, I knew he felt better about that because he thought, because he was asking me, chat, he was chatting with me a little bit and he was asking like, oh, what are you going to do with these kinds of things? And because I'm, I'm 45, but I think to him, I was like, uh, 
he acted like I was kind of like a teenager, early 20s or something. It was, it was cute what he was saying. He's like, what does a young one like you want with this kind of stuff? And so we got to chatting and I told him about my crafting and um, the different projects that I make and things like that and how I love to um, be surrounded by vintage items. I just obsessed with it. So it was really nice to be uh, able to talk with him and the, um, the ladies that were helping him run this. So very, very friendly people. So here's another lilac... Um, I like in kind of lavender colored hanky. I'm gonna try to get the stains out of at that if I can. Um, I'm always thinking to myself, I'm hoping these aren't like, you know, blood or bodily things as I'm touching them. It kind of makes me go, Whoa, you know, because I have OCD, but I want to share this stuff with you guys too. So that's why I do that. All right, here's this really gorgeous like um, um, placemat or, you know, table topper or whatever you want to call it. This is beautiful. I wish, is this the right side up? Yeah. I wish I would have found more of this one. This is just so cool, you guys. So if I had a few more of these, I'd be more comfortable cutting one up, like, like individual flowers. But um, yeah, I kind of want to look at this for a while before I decide exactly what I'm going to do with it. So Because once you cut it, that's it. And I want to try to make sure. So this is just a plain white one with the um, initials D embroidered in the corner. I won't open that one, but there's that. I'll hang on to this in um, either a commission project with their their um, last or first name is a D, like a monogram type of thing, or I maybe do a happy mail or a rack or a swap with somebody that has a D. So I, this kind of stuff I keep for those kinds of instances. because so I really like to personalize things if I can. I think it's just an extra um, detail. This is so soft and so sheer, you guys. It's like a really pretty um, pale yellow and green. Really pretty. It might, I don't know why, but I think of lemonade when I look at this. <laughs> These are flowers, they're not lemons. It just makes me think of like old country lemonade. I, I can't explain why, but I, that's what I think. Here's another one that's got um, some detail in the corner. I'm trying to speed up a little bit, so I'm not going to open up every single one that's kind of plain all over except the corner or the edging. This is just, um, I, I, I don't think this is old. I don't know what this feels like. I could be mistaken. Oh, this is a bag, you guys. I didn't know that when I first grabbed it. It was just all folded up like this because this is very stiff and it feels like it's been starched. But look at this. It has two buttons. I wonder if this is um, like the laundry bags you can use to stick like your, um, you know, your unmentionables in or like, you know, maybe um, uh, like a camisole or whatever. Because I have some I bought from Walmart, but they don't look quite like this. I wonder if that's what this was for or if this was meant to tuck in, you know, um, unmentionables like when you're packing or something. If you have an idea what this was used for, comment below and let me know because I'm curious. I want to kind of go with the latter where it's like, um, you know, some lady was using this to tuck in her, you know, her nylons or her, you know, maybe like a camisole or whatever to keep it safe and unwrinkled in her suitcase. I mean, I have no idea. I'm just making that up. But I think that might be what it is. So, okay. This tool is so creaky. Look at this one, you guys. Isn't this cool? It's got some pink and some blue and green. There's a little bit of yellow. And um, yeah, this, this is a really cool looking one for sure. I love the center. I'll hold it up so you can kind of see the detail up closer. There you go. Really nice. Here's another purple one. I should have saved all the purples for like last or something, but I didn't. So here's another really pretty um, handkerchief with some of the crochet um, trimmer on the edge. Really, really pretty. Here's that. I'm trying to see where Bella went. Bella! She might be back there laying on the patio in the sunshine. And here is a pretty um, green one. I think this, this isn't like a hanky. This looks like it was cut or torn from something larger. You can kind of tell by the raw edge right there. At least that's what I'm guessing. I could be wrong. But it's got the raw edge um, all over it except for this side. So I'm not sure if this was like a, um, uh, you know, what this was from originally, but all, all the sides except for one have a rough edge. So and here's this. You can see the design. And I'm going to grab something because I completely forgot to tell you a story about this. So I'm going to put it here so I don't forget it again about that right there. So put off the side just a little bit. Here is another little round type of doily there. Come here. You come here stay with mama. You hear click, 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 click. 
All right, so here's another one. It's got um, like hydrangeas, I'm guessing, um, around the edge of that. Really pretty. Purple, of course. And we have this one. We're getting close to the end, you guys. I'm sorry if this is like dragging on. I get this talk, 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 talk. No, no matter it's how bad my face is hurting, at least for this level of pain. I just get so excited about it, stuff like this. And I love talking about it and sharing with all of you because I know you um, like this stuff as well. I'm, I'm assuming you do since you're watching, but you never know. So really, really pretty. And here um, I have a couple of these. I think there's two. Yeah, two of these. These are just some plain white, um, maybe napkins. I These look to me, at least I'm guessing, that these are probably more like a dinner napkin, I'm guessing, because of the way the edges and stuff. I, I don't know if this... I can't imagine somebody uses for a hanky, but I guess you could. So if you um, know what this is used for, or what its intention was, please let me know because I am ignorant with some things, not knowing how things are used or what it's for. So I would love to find out. So there's two of those. And we're almost getting to the end. Here's another plain one, but it's got a little, oh, sorry, you guys can't even see a little detail there in the corner. This one's got gray edging. And it's a flower, like not a flower, but like a little design right there in the corner. This one's really, I like it. It's, it's just plain white, but it's so soft and um, it's got some delicate um, needlework on the side, but you can just kind of see through. So you can tell that this has like been used a lot, like washed or whatever. So there's that. And then last but not least, oh, there's two here. This one is plain, but except for this corner. So I'll just show you the corner detail. And then this one has F for the initial. So again, this will be saved back for another, um, you know, Bella, no, come here, Bella, come here, sorry you guys. Bella, come here, come here. No, no barking. You're fine, stop barking, please. Okay, so last thing on this real quick. No, that's enough. Okay, so I, oh, I'm gonna pause a second, you guys. I'm sorry, Bella's trying to be a little stinker. Okay, so this must be the day for me filming with lots of exterior noises and my little dots and barking and all kinds of stuff. So sorry about this, you guys. But I don't want to redo that, refilm this because my face is really starting to hurt worse because I'm talking so, so much. Last little thing here. So I don't remember what the video title is for this video, but I found this exact curtain piece in Florida at a um, antique kind of vintage shabby shop in downtown Deland where we used to live. And I was hoarding it because I thought, man, I don't want to cut this apart. This is so beautiful. So I've kind of just hoarded it and I t take it out and look at it and get a little inspiration on it. I about fell over when I dug through that pile, linen pile, when I came across this one. I was like, you've got to be kidding me because I found the exact one in Florida. And this piece is a little bit longer too. So I think the one I got in Florida would probably cut down a little bit. But, but this is a panel for a curtain. This is the whole, the little rod sleeve right here. I was just like, you've got to be kidding me. So I'm just, I don't know. I'm still kind of in awe that I, you know, found the first piece of this in Florida. And then at a random estate sale in Oregon, I find another piece that goes with it. So that was just kind of a cool thing. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up because it's been long enough, I know. And I am going to go ahead and get these items washed. And then I'm going to be working on a couple projects um, like uh, I'm altering a couple pieces of vintage pieces that are going to be storage for my craft room. So I won't always just have haul videos up before my craft room's done. I'm actually going to have some actual project videos too. So I will see y'all next time. So happy scrapping, happy planning, happy crafting and happy thrifting in my case. And Bella says goodbye. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye everybody.